As protesters dig in their heels in downtown Baghdad, nearby businesses face a struggle of their own. Traders near Tahrir Square have found themselves on the front lines between security forces and demonstrators. This hardware store and another were burned down in recent unrest. Staff are still sorting through charred merchandise. Because the anti-riot forces were on top of the buildings, they targeted them. The two shops that belong to us, this one and that one, were burned. We weren't able to extinguish the fire. As you can see, it all turned to ash. Surveillance video from adjacent buildings shows protesters throwing petrol bombs. The shop is insured, but it will take time to rebuild. In the meantime, shop employees worry about how they'll support their families. We are daily laborers. This is our livelihood. If I don't work two or three days, it affects me. It's not just the businesses around Tahrir Square that are feeling the pinch. Port and road closures in southern Iraq have stifled trade. Analysts fear the uncertainty stemming from the protests could have long-term adverse effects on the economy. Political stability is an essential part of the investment climate. I believe that these problems will lead businesses to think practically and to transfer their investment to other countries. The partial internet shutdown has hit Baghdad's budding online business community. Talabati is Iraq's main online food delivery company, but revenues have dropped more than half since the recent protests began. The Talibati application depends greatly on the Internet. If the situation continues like this, we don't think we can continue for the next two or three months. I don't believe we'll be able to cover the salaries. The lack of jobs is what started protests in the first place, but now the economy appears even worse off. Demonstrators say that whatever the cost of the unrest, it's nothing compared to what has been lost due to corruption and a small price to pay in the interest of bringing about larger change. Simona Faltin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.